Good afternoon. HCL same time is a tool for secure online communication and collaboration. In the past few years, it has been improved on both client side and server side. My name is Peter Kunz from HCL Software. And in the next one hour, I will show you what is new in the latest release, same time 1201. This uh, webinar is part of a series that we called Digital Solutions CEE Cafe, which is mainly for customers and partners in Central and Eastern Europe in, 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 in this region, but all other customers and partners are welcome, even if they are not in this you know, Central and Eastern Europe region. Uh, what you will see is mainly the current and the latest version. You know that we try to show you on, on cafe sessions the, the products in live. And there, there will be one or two slides that will mention what is planned for the future. So, so we have to tell you that everything that is planned is still un uncertain. Those are our plans. So if we say, hey, this feature is planned for the next release, so, so it, is still, it is still open. Digital solution consists of a family of products connected together. We know that, uh, I expect that majority of you use, use Notes and Domino and add and other products in this portfolio to integrate with Domino. This session today will be mainly and only about HCL same time. We covered other products in this portfolio in the past session. But today, it is only about HCL same time. Same time is a product that was created first in version in, in, in year 1999. And since that time, it was developed a lot. If you know, I, 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 I bet if you know same time, you probably know it as a chat that is included in Notes client. But over the past few years, we enhanced the same time uh, a lot. So uh, in, in 2019, we enhanced community server, which is the, the chat server, to allow uh, group chat where multiple people can chat and store and uh, continue in conversation as time flies. In version 11, later this year, we we published completely new redesign rewritten clients notes uh, sorry web clients and and mobile clients they were completely rewritten to move from web sphere application server and db2 on the server side and to modern web interface on the client side in version 11.5 we created and we added completely new meeting server. Those who try to deploy the older version, like version 9 or version 7 of, of same time full topology know that it was a lot of work. Now we switch to a new technology that requires only web browsers to connect to web meeting. And, the, and also the installation is easier. And what we will focus the most is the latest version 12 and 1201 where we added a lot of features and new functionalities. We enhanced security, we enhanced user experience, user interface, and how people can operate with, with web and, and mobile clients. For admins, we enabled, uh, we enabled API, we enabled custom branding, customizations. We also provided admins some uh, dashboards to get access to um, statistics. How many people join our meetings, how it is utilized and so on and so on that is necessary for planning the, the hardware capacity improvements. So this is what we did in the, in the past few months. And today's session is mainly about version 12 and 1201. <clears throat> 
Okay. If I can summarize where you as a customer, where you as a and end user can, can use same time for which purpose it is used, uh, there are mainly three three main topics. One to one chat, like like Adam is talking to Betty, group chat where three, four, five, ten people discussing some some project, uh, and virtual meetings, video conferences, sharing slides, discussing, uh, lecture, uh, lecturing, so providing some education and so on and so on. Before I show it, before I show it live, those are screens of, of clients. This is a chat client that can run on web, rich client, desktop client, notes, for example, or a, a mobile client. And this is how meeting server looks like. You can see it's it's a web browser with the main screen focusing on the content that, that is presented. You can see pictures or live streams of your of your co-participants on the meeting. And you as a moderator, you can you can manage the meeting. Uh, the same way as you as you expect in this in this online sessions. Uh, I mentioned that you can access same time from many devices. Those are some others, not like like the the classic website. You can integrate it in Notes. This is the the middle middle screen. You can deploy a standalone chat client for those who prefer not browser but who, who prefer desktop client for Mac or Windows. Uh, you can also deep use access same time <clears throat> from not so not so common devices like like smartwatches like smartwatches those are screen that I that I created this week uh, it is connected to your smartphone and if there is a notification you can check it or you can even quickly answer yes no i need more info and so on from your from your smartwatch you do not need to to go to pc or or a phone or you can integrate it with your car using using carplay or or android car those are screen that i took that i took yesterday when i connected uh, phone uh, to my to my car to my car play in my car on the left side is how it looks when a mobile client recognize that that it is connected to a car he says hey you you are probably driving so you cannot use you cannot fully control the small elements on the mobile client screen so he suggests me uh, this big yellow box switch to driving mode and if i click on it all small elements are hidden and there is just big screen who is talking and big tap area tap to mute tap to unmute so so if it is on on hands free in some in some in some holder in your car so you can quickly control it with, with your finger and on the car display you can see things you can see things like like this one you can see details of a conference meeting that you that you are participating in you can mute you can you can see the participants and, and other information. So this is how you can integrate uh, same time with other than classic web web interface devices. Uh, let me show you using same time. The the best way is to show show you live. So I I tell you we have chat we have meetings. So let's 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 go for it. Uh, okay. So this is, yeah, this is live. This is my chat interface, how it looks on the web. This is the, the new version that was created after, after the same time was transferred from IBM to, to HCL. We are continuously improving the, the interface. In the second part of the presentation, I will show you in detail which features we added in the in the latest version right now what you can see on the left side is a is a chat history the most recent chats 
either with a person, Heidi, or a group like this one, Project Sirius. You can you uh, they uh, you can see the details on the right. They are automatically sorted by date, so the latest one is is in the top, unless unless you pin a presentation uh, a a conversation. So it is if 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 it is pinned, yeah, you can you can uh, move it up so it is always on uh, at first place and quickly quickly see what what is new. You you see the the notification that something happens in the chat and all of this is possible because same time now supports and it is mandatory now supports uh, persistent chat which means storing chat history on the server side if you know all, if you know all the versions of same time you know that each client each desktop client in nodes or in windows stored its own chat history on local C drive, C documents somewhere somewhere locally. This is fine if you if you want local archive, but to allow access from multiple devices, from web, notes, mobile, uh, uh, you you need access to the same shared history so you can continue in the conversation where you finished. If you finished on PC and you can continue on mobile. It needs conversation needs to be stored on the server. So, so this is the result and, and benefits of, of this. Uh, okay, so this is the chat. You can upload files, you can upload screens. You, you, you see there are there are some updates, maybe this one. Let me show the recording or serious deployment conversations where people are talking and once i read the conversation the red mark the red mark disappears uh, the second part is meeting and i will show you my meetings and before we go deeper in this area let me quickly start one so you know so you know how, how it looks uh start meeting it's easy everything in meetings is in a web browser participants do not need to deploy do not do do not need to deploy or install anything it's just in browser so all you need is this unique human readable url and optionally password to unlock to open to to join the to join the the meeting and you can see lucy just joined and now i will join also as another person another one is joining okay now it's felix so now there are three of us each of the participants if he or she is allowed can share the video or share the screen the important thing is that there uh, more more than one person can share the screen so if i decide to share my screen my presentation felix can share excel and we can see pres uh, both presentations side by side if it makes sense if it makes some use case for you you can use it but in in some online conferencing tools only one person can sharing and other are not sharing in in same time multiple people can share and it is seen side by side. Uh, you, you as a participant, you uh, are limited in what you can do. I'm a moderator, so I can manage. I can manage people. I can make them moder. I can turn, the, turn them into moderator, mute them, kick them out if they shouldn't be in this in this room. I can modify parameters of the meeting i can record i can record the meeting start recording and meeting just for me or for anybody change we change quality start end to end an encryption that is secure connectivity between end devices and nothing is stored on the server yeah so so you have you have some some ways how to manage and organize the meeting either before it starts or or during there are there are 
also places for chat. Uh, event line is next week, for example. I can write it. And people can chat, respond, raise hands. Okay, now you see the, the discussion. Uh, okay, so now I can leave this one. Yeah, uh, and uh, according to the hardware, which means video camera and, and microphone, it is taken from, from the browser. So first you need to allow, yes, I allow that browser Chrome or Firefox can access to microphone, can access to camera. You will see these, these uh, notifications. So if you do not click yes, allow, you are not allowed to use microphone or, or video camera. And it is in the settings you can specify you can specify which device, which device you want to you want to uh, use. Multiple cameras, multiple microphones. Yeah. Oh, okay, now there are many microphones in this one. Okay, so closing same time and closing this meeting. Leave. Close. Okay. And if I go to back to my chat, I also disconnect from other person. Okay. And now if I go to chat, you see Project Sirius is on the top, which is current date and time. And if I click on it, I see the uh, the chat history that we type while the meeting was online so we can continue so we can continue with the discussion we can rename it so i can rename it project serious uh, june deployment and if needed i can invite other people to to participate to invite you invite this and I can invite Felix. Felix was part of Heidi. Yeah, Heidi. Heidi is not a member. Okay, invite. And now Heidi can participate in this chat room, even if she was not uh, was not present in online meeting. Okay. And at the end, I would like to quickly show you. Let me check if if it is quick enough. The mobile interface. Now I see it's spinning. Yeah, that's my that's my mobile client. At the top are HCL Digital Solutions mobile applications, verse for email, Nomad for domino applications, connections for files and sharing, same time for online communication. I click on same time and yeah, it does refresh and you can see last time I opened an hour ago before the session. So now within a second or two, it checked the server, downloaded the latest update. And what we, what we talk about is, is downloaded. You can see the chat. You can also have the same application for meetings. So there is just one application, one same time mobile application, Android and, and Apple. And if I click on the top menu, here I can switch between chats and meetings. So if I go to meetings, those are the meetings. And last meetings, history I visited, and Project Sirius is, is this one. If I want, I can, I can start, I can join Project Sirius. If I click on it, start. And now from mobile device, I, as a moderator for this room, I can start the meeting if I'm on travel on the car and right now other participants can, can join. So, so you do not sit, you do not sit at your PC to start or participate in meeting. You can, you can use your phone or, or tablet. Yeah. So this is, uh, let me check some history maybe. This ID. 
yeah, if I scroll up, you can see some chat history and something like this. Even information, this call started and call ended means that Heidi clicked on this, click on this uh, phone button and it starts ringing and, and she she sees I'm online and it starts ringing and we can hey we can we can have one to one online discussion and it can be also recorded and and then then uh watched again. So this this information means yeah yesterday at this time Heidi called me and I answered and we have talked for four minutes. Yeah, so everything is is stored on the server. Okay, so this was an overview of of the clients, and now I I will continue with the session that focus on what is new. <clears throat> just to just to remember, just just to recall what I show you live online maybe maybe the connectivity for those who saw some some blinking or flickering or the connectivity for, of live demonstration was not excellent i created slides so so you can see you can see now now in a static form what we presented live this is overview of my meetings with just click i can join and and participate this is how first sorry how first experience when you try to join the meeting how it looks like you can before you join the meeting you can check your camera your mic microphone so you do not join meeting with accidentally turn on turn on camera and or turn on microphone so so you can i think by the by default microphone is open and camera is is shut when it is collaborative meeting like like project series like that we do you can you can check yeah i i want external microphone external camera not not the one that is built in 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 laptop you can also do some test sound to check if if speaker is fine and so on if you are if you are a guest if you are a guest you need to type your name so so the name is displayed instead of anonymous user or guest user or something you can type the name marek jane anna or something like this one this is how a web interface for meeting looks like on the top there are a list of participants uh, in the middle is the content that is presented and on the right side in this case is list of list of people who join or who are waiting for join in in waiting room i will discuss it more about this later and if you uh, if you prefer uh discussing if if you have meetings where you do not present slides like like on the previous previous image and it is more like discussing, discussing with people and to show to show their faces, a replacement for on-site team meeting, for example, you can use it as well. You do not present anything, people just turn on cameras and and it can look like this one. This is a meeting with technical, with domino technical specialists uh, around the world, sometimes from last year, I think. I, I, I like the there are many cameras turned on, so I take a picture and and this is this is the real internal usage of, of same time. Uh, what I mentioned and and now it is it is displayed in more detail is if you start a conversation in in a meeting, like on the right side, this is live conversation chat in online meeting once the meeting is finished it is automatically converted to chat and all participants can see it on the left side you see project series information even files that are uploaded could be downloaded so you can you can upload files in this case pdf guide and people can download it 
this is this happens of automatically you do not need to export chat export files import no it's 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 ha it happens automatically what i did not show you live because because we do not have such need is if you want to stream if you if you want to present have some lecture mode and there will be hundreds of participants of course in this number you do not you do not expect it will be collaborative online meeting like everybody can unmute ask and so on it's it's more like broadcasting and for broadcasting you you can connect same time to some broadcasting to some global universal broadcasting uh, platform which is in this case youtube so if you have a youtube account you've got a youtube uh, token for live streaming and you use this token which is unique for for your personal account you use it you paste it into same time meeting and click start live stream what is presented on the same time is streamed on youtube so you can send link to youtube to hundreds of your participants and then can watch it uh, in a good quality because youtube has has a global coverage across the globe what is new in version 12 and 1201 because i i guess some of you saw or is aware that hcl somehow recreated redesign same time and maybe you maybe you've got experience with basic chat and basic meetings so i created a list of features with uh, nice images that we added in recent months to same time chat and same time meetings the first one that everybody will 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 face is creating a new meeting uh, previously it was like just create meeting and done but, but we know that that people use same time for different purposes for different use cases it could be it could be open let's say internal only like this discussing project series it's internal three people everybody can simply unmute present like a meeting in in your classic meeting room it's the left side collaboration time then you can have strict meetings uh, with strict security secured mm, you do not by any circumstance let unexpected unwanted people to join because they could discuss finance they could discuss personal things they could discuss some some uh, private customer topics and so on and because a same time meeting url is is permanent so if you create for example project series this url will be valid today tomorrow in a month so you can you can be sure to create a super secret room by by uh, choosing confidential confidential type and it means automatically pr uh, protected by password you uh, and moderate it uh, not everybody can join you can you can allow guest or no you can even start waiting room so you have to manually approve every participant and check yes frank okay anna no she's not allowed deny access and so on and so on and last type in this new meeting is a lecture where you uh, let people join but they will be muted uh, it will be prepared when one or two people present and for example 50 people just just watch so so the last type is for lecturing where where you do not expect much feedback from from, from the audience you present information you push information you do not necessarily collaborate one to many uh another uh thing that 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 we added to this new meeting security is uh if you if if you select confidential you can 
you can set members who can join. So if it is Monday sales meeting every Monday, day 10 a.m. in the morning and five people should participate, you can name those five people. You can even specify who is moderator and who is just common participant. And those five people can join and nobody else can cannot join. So you can specify who can join this secret meeting. You can add uh, customization, some branding, logos. For example, typical is, is logos. So you can, you can uh, add logo or name. So instead of HCL same time meetings, you can rename it uh, like ACME collaboration, ACME meetings, ACME online or, or something like this, like uh, use, use your company name and, and company logo. It is then shown in login screen, logout screen, and it is also in the top left corner. You can also upload your custom background. So if you have specific backgrounds with your corporate logo, corporate colors, you can you can upload it and, and let people set it as a as a blur background uh, behind the the uh, the personal silhouettes. Mm. What we added is that we completely and let me show it to you live that we completely recreated and redesigned the home the home screen lobby the entrance. Uh, if you look. You, your your meetings that you own that you that you manage that you created are are the first screen and just by clicking you can you can start it you can see in this case i created all three types collaborative project series super secret marketing and lecture style style webinar for business partners you can modify these these parameters later so, for example, if I want to project series, if I want to add meeting password, I can password. So nobody without password can join, for example. Yeah. So now, now, now it requires password. Uh, if you select some type of meeting, for example, this one, secret, uh, meeting password is mandatory. So, seek, uh, some meeting types do not allow you to modify parameters that are necessary for this type of meeting so you you if you select yes this should be secret meeting password is mandatory for example uh, then beside my meetings there is a tab recent and this is the list of meetings that you joined recently each meeting has has unique and human readable URL. So if you every Monday join the same sales meeting and, and such, you can quickly scroll and find the meeting that you want to join, or you can click on the link in the invitation like you did in this in this cafe. Uh, in the recent meetings, you can have access to some features because those are meetings that already happened that already happened. So if you click on these options, you can you can let show uh, generate and show you show you which one I did. I think I did this one. This second one should be better. Full report and it will create a report and download you as a PDF. If I click on it. You can see PDF. You see when uh, the parameters guest allowed, yes, no, moderated the type of, of meeting security. You can see who joined, when when someone joined, when he or she left. Moderators, if there was a chat, there is a chat, and if somebody presented, you can see at thirteen fifty two, John started to present it, this PDF or share screen or something like this. So so this meet this meeting report can be generated for meetings that already already happened. You can also have access to recordings. 
if you start recording at the beginning of the meeting and then end it, it is stored on the same time server and you can just click on it and, and watch it, watch it online. Like this one, I can watch online, but better is download and store it somewhere because same time server is not intended for long term storing this big video files and admin has a policy that allows them to set to specify for how long the meetings recordings stay on the server until they are deleted and i am notified so in this demo in this demo environment it is a few days it is just it is like five days so it says hey here is meeting from yesterday and it will expire in june 10. so if you watch this screen in june 11 this recording will be deleted so you have to access it before this date and uh and download download recording with with this you with this link and then you can upload and expose it in your in your file sharing or publishing platform you can upload it to domino nsf you can upload to to connections it's 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 up to you so so this is new and redesign uh, home screen for meetings and the the type of the type of meetings that were on the screen are if you create if uh, the create new meeting collaboration confidential lecture this is how you can create meeting every authenticated user can create more than one meeting room you do not need you do not need just one in some online conferencing systems uh, there is a rule one user one meeting room in in same time there is one user better and right now you can see i have four meeting rooms with three different types okay so back to the slides this is for your offline reference screen of for some uh, uh longer meeting uh, you see 40 minutes we've got some discussion we've got some links links are links are emphasized with a color you can see chat transcript and, and discussion that we that we had. This is the link to recordings with with uh, information that the recording will be deleted after a specified number of time. It is it is up to you how long, how many days you allow meeting recordings stay on your same time server. This is the full screen with full uh, joining experience as it looks in the latest release. I took it from our internal internal same time server, which is connected also to a telephony system that allows joining joining via phone. So so if you do not have audio or video in your PC, you can you can call this number and you can call this number and and connect via phone it's it's probably not not used in in our areas because we all have audio video in, in our pcs <clears throat> some news that are added in the recent in the recent versions i mentioned that it all all, ha all happens in browser so it means in browser, you need to enable microphone and you need to enable camera. In the past version, if you did not do this, you you, you just can't, can't broadcast. Now we added information like, hey, this is your first time. You try to, you try to share the screen. You try to use microphone. Please go, if it is not prompted, you need to enable microphone and camera in your browser. So we educate we guide people if something is not running as they expect they should check the parameters in in browser we also added support in firefox so if you in your company use firefox and not chrome based browsers now in firefox first we uh, uh, because in in firefox it you could not 
set which microphone and which camera you would like to use in same time meeting. You had to go to Firefox, global settings, and then it was it was passed to the meeting. Now in the latest 1201 fix pack one, which is a few months old in Firefox, you can you can specify it per same time meeting. Waiting room is a great security feature that was asked by you, by, by customers. We added it in, in the recent version and how it looks in preferences that I show you in Sirius. I enable waiting room and if you click on it, then people cannot automatically join the meeting. You have to approve them. This is how it looks. Uh, I am a guest, Marek, and I click on the link. I, I received link in my invitation, so I click on it in, in the calendar information. I click, OK, lo login or join as guest. I am guest. I do not have password, so click on guest. OK, I am Marek, joining as guest. And because there is a waiting room enabled, Marek sees this message. Please wait. Uh, probably a few minutes until someone let you in. OK, I am waiting. And now I switch to moderator view. This is how moderator, which is me, Peter, for example. And he he sees some, 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 something blinks. There is a message one. And I see, hey, Marek just joined. He's in waiting room. And either you let him wait, approve or deny. You can approve him manually, approve all. If if you are waiting, if you are practicing, so for example, meeting starts at, at 1 p.m. and before 1 p.m. you do not want to let people in because you are preparing presentation and testing, sharing, and so on, you can send them message. You can type, you can click on message and type, yeah, we will we will approve you in a few minutes. We are testing right now. So this is what Marek sees. Marek now sees yes. Admin will approve me, but not now. They are they are preparing something. And once admin says OK, approve, now Marek can join the meeting and is a, uh, is a re re regular attendee with the uh, info icon that he's a guest. So this is new in 1201, and you can use you can use waiting rooms in your secret same time meetings. What we improved in in same time meetings is that if there are more participants, some some do not present and do not share cameras. So those who are let's say passive are moved in this in this list of participants are moved down and up and up are moved those who either share camera or present something. This is this is the example where you can see when two people present the screen together and it's up to you which which you want to whether you want to see both or just one. If you try to speak and you are muted, we show you we beep, we show you information. Uh, hey, you probably try to speak but you are muted, please unmute or if you if you are not muted and there is some noise in your microphone, there is also a message, hey, hey, somebody is talking next to you. It's it's too noisy. Please, please either uh, make it less louder or mute yourself. So th so these are some some helping information for participants. Sometimes there could be problems with networking, so you can uh, you can see if you click, if you move over to over your sharing, uh, sharing screen or video transmission or your camera transmission. There are icons, uh, green or a red. And if you move mouse over it, <coughs> you can see information why same time things that your connectivity is good or not so good. You can see the re resolution, you can see throughput packet lost and so on. So so you, you you are noticed if the connectivity between you and the same time server is good or, or not good. Oh, you are also noticed how long the the meeting takes since since it it 
it, it, be, it began. So in this case, it's four, it's four minutes, 45 seconds since the meeting started. In every meeting, uh, there are things that are not visible, like there is no button for some for some functions because they are not so used, they are not used so often. So if you want to see all screen or shortcuts, you can you can press a question mark key key and it shows you all the all the shortcuts. For example, T is is uh, hidden and, and is interesting if you hit T like time. Uh, it shows you all participants and how much time he or she talked uh, in in the meeting. So you can see if someone talked too much or too little. You can use shortcuts to focus on someone's video and so on. So <clears throat> this is what we what we saw live. If you upload a some file in a chat in a chat in a meeting uh, which was not possible in version i think we added in 12 or 12 either 12 or 12 or 1 it was not in in 11.5 you can now upload files into chat in meetings and it is then oh, which is on the left side and it is then stored and accessible on the right side and by life, I I think I mean this one marketing. It was either projects in serious. Yeah, this one. You see, yes. And in the meeting, someone uploaded a file, one megabyte PDF with same time monitoring, and you can download it even if you did not participate it on the chat. So 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 this is uploading file attachments in the chain uh, same time chat. Uh, now, screen, what was new in version 12 is that we split because because if you have chat in this demo, there are just in this demo environment, there are just four users and, and a few meetings. And now it, it is almost across all the across all the screen. So in real use case, there will be more people and more meetings. So to let you. Uh, better orient and organize the list of chats. We added a toolbar where you can split, show me only meeting chats, one-on-one -on -one chats between two people and group chats. So you can you can click on it and, and filter what you want to see. Show me only one-to-one -one chats, show me group, show me group chats and show me meetings recording meetings so if you if you do not if you are not interested in in meetings and you just chat with the people click on this one and and you are focused on one-to-one -one chats okay yes this this is some enhancement for for chats where you can rename uh, assignment you can rename group chat or, or originally it, it got some some generated name and you could not rename it now you can change it uh, as you saw i change same time meeting with today's day and, and time to same time deployment july for example and it is more accurate for the context now you can also rename contacts uh, like name, so, so you see someone name in a way that you would like to see it. You can pin the chats as I show you, and you also and you also can see if someone is if someone is is typing, then it will be displayed in in this one that you are waiting for a for a uh, answer. So you see. There will be there will be information that Felix or Heidi is typing response to my question, for example. Uh, I mentioned this in mobile demonstration. This is how it looks on the web. If Heidi is talking to Peter and 
uh, they discussed something and she would like to she would like to discuss it not not over chat but over a quick call to make it to make it faster so she asked can i call you later yes she clicked on this button ta -da -da. i am Peter. i got beep 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 on my screen i answer the call we've got a call for four minutes then it shut and and here is a lock of of this uh, click to call uh, one thing that is not new in the latest release, it's it's like two years old, but people are not aware. So if you use same time meetings, maybe maybe you you think that the only way how to use it, how to access is web, but actually you can download desktop client for Mac and for Windows. And then it looks like this. You You first need to enable it. You see, there is there is in this there, there is no no switch open in desktop, open in web. You first need to enable it. And if I open, there is a a switch electron client equals true. And when you once you set it as true, you see always open in desktop up. And then you can open and let me show you. Uh, meetings this is a desktop application that i just started it's electron app and you can connect one application to multiple servers if i go to servers so you can see i can connect to to showcase to sandbox to internal right now this meeting client is connected to a to a several to a several clients and you can you can choose to which to which it connects this one so, so this is a hint for those who know that meeting can be accessed from web. Now, with this simple trick, you can, if if you are a power user, you can you can open meetings from a desktop client if you if you prefer this way. In twelve, in in version twelve, we added a mm, let's say dashboard or charts or statistics or metrics where administrator can connect to the backend to the background uh, usually kubernetes or 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 docker and see the uh, see the usage see how the platform is used see some statistics live and and in the history so this is example of these charts customers ask us for for these metrics so in the latest version it is it is available what is also available right now is a technical preview if you are a if you are a developer or admin and you would like to access the information that are provided via web interface for example now same time offers same time offers api let me show you mm -mm -mm. you just replace you just replace the the url instead of slash meeting in url in your server you just type slash same time api docs and this is it now due to single sign on i am logged in so i should probably be able to for example recording show me all my recordings of current user and if i call if i call this uh command if i send this recipe okay that's it response body you can see marketing plan and project series as as recordings which is exactly which is exactly what I see if I go to my recordings, marketing plan and project series. Uh, or if I go to, for example, files, show me files that I uploaded, list of files that I uploaded. And yes, same time premium monitoring PDF, which is the PDF that, that you saw on the screen that I uploaded in the group chat so so this is api it is available right now 
you all, all you need is to to test it and then use it in in your integration uh, in your in your companies that uh, this concludes a big section what is new in version 12 and 1201 uh, here is once so what you saw until now is what is ready what you can use if you deploy or or test online you can use everything that that i just showed to you what is plan for for next releases i put on this summary slide so you can see uh, the things that are in our backlog and on which we are working to be ready in future releases as is as i said at the beginning and, and is and is mentioned at the lower right of the screen it's it, there are still plans unless it is officially announced yes this will be in version xyz um, um, until then it is it is still it is still the plan okay so you saw you saw what you what same time is capable to do and maybe you would like to test it you what i what i presented right right now chat and meet for example meetings you would like to test it how to do how to do this do i as a customer or, or as a partner do i have to deploy download deploy learn how to deploy same time to to test it to check it and of course the the answer is no we have two environments where you can test same time without installing it for uh, first, and you can test it for free. First one is well-known uh, sandbox, digital solution sandbox on this URL. If you click on it, you see there is a section HCL same time. If you create a free personal account, multiple people from one company can create. There can be John, Anna, and Felix, and these three people can create they, their own accounts and then test HCL same time meetings the same way as I did with Felix, Lucy, Felix, Lucy, and, and Heidi. So you can do it. It is for meetings only, uh, not not chat, and you can you can test you can create account very quickly within a minute. If you want you know, full experience, chat, multiple users, uh, recordings and everything, you can use our cloud platform called Sofi, Sofi like solution factory. If you click on it and let me show you, I prepared it for, I prepared a link for you. This is it, a, a catalog, a Sofi catalog. And we have many products that you can deploy on, on our cloud platform. There is Domino, Domino Leap, and there should be same time. Yeah, this one, same time premium. You see 1201 fixed pack one, the, the latest release. If you click on it, you are authenticated. You have login. Login is the same as for FlexNet or support. It's, it's HCL single sign-on login. If you click launch it, it will deploy Kubernetes based chat and same time meetings environment just for you, not for everybody. The sandbox is for is for everybody, it's for the world, it's for the whole world, and each participant can see um, anybody. Now you will deploy your private environment for a limited number of time. And I use this one, Sophie environment, for my demonstration. So we can see there is a, a strange URL, play HCL Sophie and, and some unique number, because two days ago I I went to Sophie, I said I want to create, it took five minutes to deploy, then I created a few people, Heidi and Felix and me and so on. I, you, you create username and password and then those people can log in so this is a great way if you want to provide a if you want to provide an environment where that you want to test internally with all the features that that same time provides
so it is the, the second option how to how to test it but what if you want to deploy it yourself so this is the part for admins for for admin, for those who are admin for those in in the participants who are admins administrators uh, i have the the uh, introduction session about the technology about the backend originally two years ago we split same time services because you saw there is a chat there is a platform for web chat and mobile there is a service for for meetings for online meetings and video conferences two years ago you 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 needed separated servers one server for chat it was community that run on domino then same time proxy for web and mobile that run that uh, that run on uh, java web application server on tomcat then you deployed in containers meetings you somehow integrated it store data in mongo and so on we try we continuously try to simplify the server backend so now it looks like this you have just one server inside your company everything is in containers either docker or kubernetes and internal and external clients use the same ports to communicate with these services so it is no more that you need to deploy in three phases first install chat server then web server then meetings da, da, da. no it's it's all at once there are some prerequisites of course you need ldap for source of users username and password and, and personal information you need some place to store data it is it is uh no no sql mongodb database and that's it since version 12 you do not need domino to host same time community service domino can act as a ldap of course right but you do not since version 12 you do not install same time on domino you you install it on in in containers and in containers means either run it on single node single server on something like docker could be podman but, but yeah let's let, let's say docker for for generic knowledge or something for multi-nodes auto scaling spreading workloads across multiple big uh, uh, big uh, hardware servers and so on and so on and uh, the principle is similar but the the specific steps are different for each environment it's sim uh, it's simpler for docker for single node it's a little bit more complex for kubernetes because because you deploy it on more complex platform if i would like to compare it then you can imagine docker is something like vmware uh, workstation single node a few virtual machines and same time run in one of these virtual machines let's imagine and kubernetes is something like like vmware esx server multi-nodes switching workloads moving images from one node to another so and so you can deploy same time in this environment as well in this kubernetes environment we have we have step-by-step -step tutorials for each of these ways of each of these flavors for docker and kubernetes on the left side is docker written by my friend Alex Lichtenberg, who is very active in the same time community he's he is on this call so hello Alex. thank you for for good job and uh, i know that a lot of people use his slides and tutorials to deploy to deploy the the same time for the first time in in a container then on the right side on the on the right side is written by hco services specialist Wickerl he's from I think Germany not not Austria I think from Germany uh, also active in in same time community he presents 
at conferences and this and this uh, spring he Bickerl on the left side had a presentation with Eric my colleague from Germany and they presented a steps how to deploy same time in real environment these these topics these topics are for first introduction so they do not go deep into every detail but in production you need those details and these de some of these details are covered in this great presentation so there is a link please if you are interested click on it download store the presentation it is long and it is full of interesting and important technical topics for same time deployment and i also added a link to a recording of open ntf community webinar that happened last year i think presented by tony payne who is part of same time product team for a long time very 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 skilled technical per, uh, person who also presents and educate customers and partners. And here is like one hour, one hour and a half live recording showing how Tony used information from the uh, from the documentation from the info center and deploys in real time, same time on Docker. So if you want to just sit and watch for an hour, I, I recommend, I suggest to, to use this recorded webinar. And also on, on Engage, on Engage, I did not just gather this, this interesting presentation for same time, but on uh, session automation in Domino uh, that was that was held by, by Vlata Tarince from Sci1 Sci business partner, very active business partner. Uh, Vlad presented a tip for same time admins that he created a script for gathering information logs from multiple service from multiple same time components that you can, can either analyze or send to HCL support and this script can can help you a lot of time and a lot of manual work so if you are active same time admin i suggest you check check this check this repository and download the script it is it is small shell script but it helps you in gathering technical information how is same time how is same time license uh, same time you probably know from the from the uh, past years from the ibm times that there are two options or two flavors or same time small one or big one sometimes this small was slice was named same time light same time limited now it is called entitlement to same time something like this and there is a full full same time with all features the let's say same time light or limited or just entitlement is part of uh notes license of of client license it could be domino express it could be ccb uh if you want uh on many of these domino licenses there is entitlement for same time and same time chat only and also the basic chat so for example you cannot send um, files you cannot send files like attachments in the chat you can have only one chat community and so on. there are some limitations but it is available for free so if you are okay with just chat and let me show you chat this chat it can be mobile it can be web it can be notes client it is part of the it is part of the notes the notes license and you can deploy new same time without buying a license if you buy a same time premium license you've got all features that you that you saw today and mainly people buy it because of meetings you cannot use meetings in this limited license you have all meetings functions in the same time premium license 
you do not buy you do not buy licenses for external people you buy licenses only for employees for employees and contractors for guests for external people either anonymous or, or authenticated if they join your meeting you do not need to buy a license for them and if you are buying license for same time premium for for your employees so for example you have 500 employees and you want to buy same time premium license you have two options basically uh, and they differ in in price so if you features are the same price is different if you are a customer who is already on ccb license complete collaboration business it means with you you, you know that with ccb you've got some some products say part of the license for no additional cost it can be domino domino rest api it can be nomad web it can be a uh, one-time group calendar for up to 50 people and so on and so on and some products you can get for a good price and this uh, is example of same time premium so if you are on ccb license you can buy cheaper same time premium licenses for your users if you are on express and you do not want to migrate okay you can stay on collaboration express and pay for same time premium but you will pay a little bit higher price La my last section is as usual in in my presentations uh, about learning where to get more information uh, some interesting learning sites on the internet either public or or uh, uh, available after some authentication in this case i i i'm i'm skipping uh, classic documentation you can find you type help hcl hcl tech software and you can access the documentation now i focus on other resources than a classic documentation so first i would suggest to go to hcl software university which was recently renamed you probably know the old name hcl software academy so now it's, it's instead of academy it's university if you click on it if you log in it has the same login as flexnet you can select the product and go to same time and if, if you on the home page if you select same time click on it and you've got this page and this is part of the page learning journeys and there are two tutorials two great tutorials and if you click this is the first one for let's say intro or beginners and the second one is for admins this is how it looks if you if you start so it is ready zero percent done and both uh, guides or tutorials they took several hours will guide you through same time in this case is same time explanation like how it looks how what are the features what i need to deploy at the back end the topology the limitations requirements and so on and the second one is step by step tutorial how to deploy full same time premium on kubernetes on your kubernetes so it will guide you step by step uh, and let me show you i think this is how it looks when you when you done when when you are doing yes this one deploying and right now i am for example almost at the end and if you click on it there is a pdf and there are step by step step by let me show you yeah step by step instructions that you should do and repeat in your environment and if you follow the instructions correctly you will and you will finish with same time premium installed in your environment so if you if you are interested in deploying definitely definitely i suggest to check these two courses they are free on hcl academy site and uh, 
also there are two bloggers to my knowledge that that regularly blog about same time they are active they are hcl ambassadors roberto bocadoro from italy and Aleš lichtenberg from from czechia if you go th those are links to their blogs and if you follow them uh, on twitter or check their website from time to time you will definitely get useful information about same time and uh, for example the issues they had to fix information about upgrade when new version is released how to perform upgrade how to set up some features and so and so on so i i suggest those two bloggers uh, to follow uh, thank you for joining today's call where we discuss information about hcl same time namely hcl same time premium 1201 the the latest version in the first part we explain what same time is and did a quick demonstration of chat and meeting functionality then we spent a big portion of time what is new in the latest version all these small updates and features that people and that users and admins can found useful and maybe they are hidden to uh, at, at first sight so so i think it's it's good and, and interesting for you to show you what you can use in same time and last part was more about backend like how to install um, what you need to prepare how it is licensed and where to get more information all the all today's session is download is is recorded so you can watch it on youtube it will be available soon probably later today and as we as we speak right now i already uploaded a pdf file with all these links and and interesting resources to tools and documentation and 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 tutorials you can download it from this url where we store uh, information about hcl cafe series so you can see hcl cafe number four same time premium at the bottom is already uploaded in this in this session i will stop recording right now then we can unmute and discuss the uh the questions that that you may have and i will also check the the chat if there are any questions thank you very much for joining the webinar number four that focus on hcl same time and online tool for secure communication i wish you a happy and and sunny summer and see you in september on some next hcl ce cafe webinar Thank you. Have a nice day. Bye.